Hello students, welcome to Short Obsess classes. So in today's video, we'll be solving a few questions from MSQE IC entrance exam for economics. So first question, we'll be starting with a question. So it goes like this, consider a firm that can sell in domestic market where it is a monopolist or consider a firm that can sell in the domestic market where it is a monopolist and in export market now domestic demand is given by p equals to 10 minus q and export price is given by 5 suppose the firm has a constant marginal cost of 4 and a capacity constraint on output of 100 so we have this given information consider a firm that can sell in the domestic market where it is a monopolist or in the export market the domestic demand is given by P equals to 10 minus Q and export price is given by 5. Now suppose the firm has a marginal cost of 4. Suppose the firm has a marginal cost of 4 and a capacity constraint on output is given by 100. So now we have to solve the question. So it is given the first question solve the optimum production plan of the firm. So now we will solve this question. So in this question, first of all, we know that is the firm chooses, chooses the quantity to sell domestically at QD level. So we know what that is the firm. We know the firm chooses the firm chooses quantity to sell the firm chooses quantity to sell domestically it is given by QD and export QE such that they solve the following such that they solve the following profit maximization problem so the following profit maximization problem will be maximize quantity of domestic price and of export it will be quantity demanded into the price which was given by 10 minus QD plus 5 QE minus 4 into QD plus QC. This will be subject to the budget constraint which is given as QD plus QE must be less than equals to 100 and QD is greater than equals to 10, 0 and QE is greater than equals to 0. So now we have these two findings so it is given that maximization of this now where did you get it from if you simply look at the this question you know there is a price is given as what the price is given as 10 minus QD so this is for domestic price so we have written it is QD into it is QD into 10 minus QD so it is QD into 10 minus QD now we know the export price is given as 5 so it will be export of quantity which is QE into 5 minus we know the cost will be marginal cost which is given as 4 into quantity of demand plus quantity of this because we know that is the quantity into the marginal cost which is given as 4 which is constant we get what we get the total cost so now we have simply written it that way and we have also written the QD plus QE that is the maximum output that could be produced is given as the capacity constant is given as 100 so now what we have to do is 
we'll simply go back to this now we'll solve further now if you simply differentiate the profit function with respect to quantity of domestic prices it will be 6 minus 2 QD so it will be 6 minus 2 QD how do we get it for this if you differentiate this from here you will get QD square so 2 will come here so we'll get 2 QD minus 2 QD from here if you multiply this with this and here it will be 10 QD so here I'll simply do it, it will be 10 QD you multiply this from here you will have 5 QD and from here you will get 4 QD now if you simply solve it we will get the value to be 6 minus 2 QD so you will get the value to be equals to 6 minus 2 QD And if you simply differentiate the profit function with respect to QE, you will get the value to be equals to 1. You will get the value to be equals to 1 because here from here you will get 4 QE and from here you will get 5 QE. So which is nothing but 1 QE or 1. So now we know that is the marginal profit from export are always prof positive. So we know the marginal profit from export are always positive. Since marginal profit from export are what? Marginal profit from export are always positive. positive so the profit maximization monopolist will always exhaust so the profit maximizing will always exhaust his capacity in the optimum what that is the marginal profit from export are always positive and the profit maximizing monopolist will always exhaust its capacity in the optimum so we know this information so therefore what will happen the firm will choose Q and QD in such a way so the firm will choose Q and QD in such a way QE and QD in such a way so they will choose it in such a way that the Q changing in such a way that change in profit by change in QD will always be equals to change in profit by change in QE. QE. So now we know the change in profit by change in QD. We already know it to be 6 minus 2 QD which is equals to 1. This is the value of this is 1. And now from here we can write 5 equals to to QD and QD star equals to 2.5 and QD star equals to 2.5 now we also know QD plus QE is equals to 100 it is given so from here you can find the value of QE to be 100 minus QD which is equals to 100 minus 2.5 
so which will get the value to be 97.5 so the value of QD star we have found it to be 2.5 and value of QE we have found it to be 97.5 so for the first question we have solved that is the optimum consumption of consumer when his income is 40 sorry this is not a question so the question was solve the optimum production plan of the firm so what is the optimum production fan plan given this we know it to be ninety seven point five and QD to be two point five so now I'll simply go through a quick review so we know the firm chooses quantity to sell domestically QD and export QE such that they have following profit maximization condition so we know profit maximization condition will be QD into price and price into QE minus the cost which is marginal cost into the quantity now this is given in the question that QD plus QE must be less than equals to 100 so now all we have to do is we have to differentiate this equation with respect to QD first and then with respect to QE so we have found the value to be 6 minus 2 QD and 1 now we know the monopolist profit will from export are always positive and the profit maximizing monopolist will always exhaust his capacity in the optimum so what happens is that in this case change in QD must be equals to part change in profit by QE if you simply put the value here you will get the value of QD start to be 2.5 now if you simply put this in this equation I am denoting it by star if you put it in this equation you will get the value of QE to be 97.5 so I hope you guys have understood this question so in the subsequent video we will solve other questions from different ISI MSQE paper so thank you for watching this video if you have a query or doubt you can simply whatsapp me on this number which is 9836793076 or you can also go to our website which is www.showedofficersclasses.com there you will find a lot of other videos like this and you will also get to see a lot of other materials which are needed for different entrance exam. So thank you for watching this video and have a nice day ahead.